China easily outclassed and ran rings around the U.S. in a recent war drill, the vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs has warned. General John Hyden has urged the U.S. to rethink its military strategy in light of the results of the drill which he claimed failed miserably. The Pentagon refused to provide the name of the wargame as it remains classified, but a defense official told Defense One, the drill took place last October and revolved around a battle for Taiwan. On Monday, Haydn told an audience at the launch of the Emerging Technologies Institute China is capable of reading U.S. maneuvers. He said, without overstating the issue, it failed miserably. An aggressive red team that had been studying the United States for the last 20 years just ran rings around us. They knew exactly what we're going to do before we did it. The October drill was reportedly a test for a new warfighting strategy but the concept drew heavily on the same ideas the U.S. has used for decades. Following the loss, General Hyten has urged the U.S. to be ready with an overhauled version of the joint warfighting concept by 2030. General Hyten explained China had been studying U.S. tactics for years and has a numbers advantage. Imagine what our actual competitors have been doing for the last 20 years, with probably even more focus, with larger numbers, Mr. Hyten said. So we had to take a step back and look broadly and say, OK, what did we miss? One key reason for the loss was due to the aggregation of forces which acted as a double-edged sword. Pooling ships, aircraft and ground forces together bolstered the military power in one area but also made them sitting ducks. Further, General, Hyten explained the U.S. has an over-reliance on information to win wars. We basically attempted an information dominance structure, where information was ubiquitous to our forces. Just like it was in the first Gulf War. Just like it has been for the last 20 years. Just like everybody in the world, including China and Russia, have watched us do for the last 30 years. Well, what happens if right from the beginning that information is not available? And that's the big problem that we faced. News of the U.S. strategic overhaul comes as the U.S. bears completion of its withdrawal from the Middle East. Earlier this month, Joe Biden announced an end to military operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. According to General Hyden, the withdrawal will allow U.S. forces to be redirected to tackle the threats posed by China and Russia. The remarks also come a month after President Xi Jinping threatened foreign powers would get their heads bashed bloody if they attempt to interfere with Chinese affairs. Chinese state media urges Beijing to ramp up its defense amid Joe Biden threats. Chinese state media has reacted to Joe Biden's threat of starting a real shooting war by urging China to ramp up its defense. The Global Times has responded to the U.S. president's remark by urging China to gear up its military defense. The Chinese Communist Party mouthpiece said China needs to increase its defense in order to deprive the U.S. of its assurance they can win in a conflict over Taiwan and the South China Sea. We need to convince the world in the near future that China is not going to provoke the U.S., but if the U.S. comes to fight China in the Taiwan Straits or in the South China Sea, the PLA will have sufficient capacity to beat the hell out of them, the Global Times wrote. On Tuesday, Biden discussed the importance of cybersecurity in the country and warned the U.S. could enter a real shooting war with a major power if an attack were to happen. On his first visit to the office of the Director of National Intelligence since he came into power, the U.S. president issued a warning that stressed cyber threat concerns from Russia and China cybersecurity as a top priority for the Biden administration following attacks on U.S. companies, which have been blamed on Russian and Chinese military hackers. Mr. Biden said, I think it's more than likely we're going to end up if we end up in a war. A real shooting war with a major power. It's going to be as a consequence of a cyber breach of great consequence and it's increasing exponentially, the capabilities. Companies such as software company SolarWinds, 
Colonial Pipeline Company, Meat Processing Company JBS and tech firm Casilla have all been subject to a cyber attack.